for my shirt. Too, too sexy, sexy for my shirt. So oh, sexy it hurts. I'm too sexy for your mom. Too sexy for your mom. Too sexy for your mom's collectoral hood. <laughs> if you didn't know that there was a hood, <laughs> now you do. I found it many times. <laughs> Welcome back to our stupid reactions, of course. Hey, you want me to check under your hood? <laughs> you can follow us on Instagram, Instagram Twitter, Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks on Patreon. Follow us on Twitter. Subscribe if you haven't hit the like button. Uh, uh, where you get reactions, reviews, and biology. Today, a new trailer dropped of Fafa's new film. Impossible. He only comes out with a film every three, four, five days. It's called Malian Kunjo. And this is the one that we originally saw in January. And it now comes out, I think this month, I think. Uh, yeah. July 22nd. Yeah, baby. Which is actually right around the corner. I don't know if we'll get it because we didn't get. Um, yeah, I'm really upset. Fucking hit. Hit. Um, and that's <sighs> a big Bollywood film. So, But also that's the same day that Shamshara comes out. So. <laughs> so. Yeah, and this, uh, that's also when Nope comes out. Is it? Yep. Oh, okay. Um, but anyways, this is uh, Fahat Fasil's um, new, and new music film by that we've been anticipating A. since we saw the teaser yeah. in January. And yeah. then it got, I don't know what happened to it, um, but A.R. Nanbar, A.R. Rahman uh, did the music. And there is, I think, a trigger warning on this for people that are claustrophobic. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. Okay, that's good to know. Um, so, so if you're claustrophobic. If you are claustrophobic. You've just been informed. Um, are you claustrophobic? No. Johnny, yeah, I can't hear you. You're not here. Well, mic. let me rephrase Little that. Little bit. <laughs> it it depends. It depends on the situation. When you're so, in a closed space, like no, like I, I would actually enjoy, and I'm not kidding when I say this. Like if I was to sleep in a casket, that would be so comforting. Like to be enclosed and dark and feel the walls on either side. I love that. When I was enclosed in your mother's breasts, it was great. Some of the most comfortable. So, but that's because I've ever I'm choosing to be in the casket. So was I. If I am in, like, down in the caverns. It was down in your mom's with bear, <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Just stop trying so hard not to give you cue words. <laughs> You're still finding them. Oh, uh, so good. Here we go. <laughs> I don't care what you said. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Our future dosed. Okay, already. What is going on? Right? <laughs> I'm <laughs> Shout out already to cinematography and lighting. Whew. Wow. Um, I, I, Bring I, it on. I love Malayalam cinema. I do. I do so much. Um, because 
One, obviously, the, we said they've always focused on story and 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 acting, right? Yep. Um, this is this, it's such an original story. I mean, I I mean, I know you've just seen the the teaser. I've never seen anything that deals with something like that, and it's clearly, obviously, he, he says this is a gruntled old man, right? Um, who's angry at babies, um, which I understand. Two newborn twins. <laughs> <laughs> um, but then the fact that he then himself, it looks like, becomes a baby in the womb, essentially. Right. That was a lot of very... Womb symbolism. Big big symbolism, big <laughs> metaphor. Um, but it looked amazing. It really and did. obviously you have Fafa, one of the greatest actors acting yeah. today. Yep. Um, and so you have no doubt that the acting is going to be there. Yep. It does. Everything that he does, and most everything we see that comes out of Malayalam cinema, uh, does check off all the boxes for the, the kind of thing that I call elevative artistry when you're looking at the purpose of cinema as an artistic expression. And the same is true of their trailers, because their trailers almost always are compelling, they're different, they're unpredictable, they're well-made, they're the right length, and as always... It's just, what a shock. I see a trailer and I want to go see the film. So this film is based on a real landslide that took place in the high ranges of Kerala, which resulted in many people losing their lives, homes, and kin. Interesting. Directed by? Uh, directed by Sajiman Prabhakar. Who and did, uh, did he do the? Android. Hold on. Was he on crew or did he write and direct that thing? Uh, I don't. Son what was his name? Uh, 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 Sajimon Prabhakar. Sajimon Prabhakar. Well, that's cast. I know. I was seeing if he was in it. Yeah, I don't know what he what he worked on in that one. Anyway, um, but and then it's this is the one I know. Yeah. Yes, so Mahesh it's Narani. The writer of Malak. Uh, I mean, this is the, the director. Takeoff. See you soon. He, he directed those ones. Right. Takeoff. See you soon, Malak. Um, and produced by Fafa. Right. No. Oh, no, 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 no. That's produced by Facile. Facile. Um, I bet a lot of people get confused by that. He also sent... Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so... This director, who did See You Soon, you know, the, he was mm -hmm. an editor slash cinematographer. Right. He's he also the doing the cinematography for this. For this. And yeah. we've shouted out the cinematographer every single one of his films. Exactly, and he wrote it, obviously, understanding what he was going to do as DOP. So... Uh, the trailer alone, it looks wonderful. I'm really nervous that we won't get it, though. I know, as am I. Obviously, it, it wants... Uh, so if anybody involved in the film can uh, look it up. Uh, Where? On, on Fandango. Okay. I bet we won't get it yet, right? Because it's, what are we, a week out? We're a week out. It might not be listed right now. Well, Shamshara is not even listed. And oh, that's... Well, and that happens. We'll get that where e the Wednesday before it opens, they'll show the screenings. Um, there it is. It's listed on Fandango. Um, but let's see if we have any dates where it's showing. And typically what they've been doing, like with Hit, it's 50 miles away, which in L.A. is basically a seven-day drive. Yes, it's true. <laughs> What's going on with your it's, thing? I don't, I don't know. It's not, it's not loading for some reason. So, how do you, uh, M A L A? Yeah, M A L A. Yeah. Malaya. Um, Kunlu. Why is this not loading? And I know that obviously, once the stuff hits theater, sometimes it, it's only a matter of a few weeks sometimes before it hits OTTs. Right. Which is great, but also I would love to see something that has the scope of cinematography that this does. Right. I'd love to see it in theaters. So, I'd would love I. to see something like this. I theater. would. I would love to feel the constraint because. It won't replicate, especially for the, the work I'm sure was put in by Mahesh. It's a completely different thing when you see something that has a claustrophobic element on a big screen and dark. Like that the sequence. Sound too. Yeah, the sequence. Like the sequence when, when uh, in, in Kill Bill, it's volume two, I think, where the burial, mm -hmm. that's hard to see in and of itself, but in a theater, when you're forced to be in the dark and feel everything at that level. Uh, this is a cinematic experience that I really hope everybody can see, including us in, in cinemas. It is produced by Fafa because it's his company. Yes, but it's a different spelling. That moniker is yeah, F A Z I L. The producer of that, but the, I can see it, the production company. Oh yeah, is it's, it's Fafa and Friends, which absolutely. is absolutely that's his company. His production company, correct? Which produced. Um, he was the producer of. Um, 
Gumbalanji Nights. I don't know why it's... Here's, here's what we got. Nothing. Anyways, so if anybody involved with the film uh, can let us know... Um, because I'm, I'm, I've been interested in this film. That would be... We've talked about this ongoingly, and we have no control over that, but if anybody is having a film come out, we know that you have stuff that you can do as a pre-release for people who get to screen it and review it before it's released in theaters. Man, it would be a huge blessing, especially for films like this. Only if it's this. not in theaters, obviously. Yeah, if it's in theaters, don't do that. We would obviously want to go support it and give it the money. But if it's a thing where it doesn't get released in our where we're located... That would be a huge, it's happened huge a few blessing. Times um, where the producers or directors have reached out, like GGVV, yep, um, the director and star. Or of that. after the fact, like that—that that happened with a couple of films where it was long gone and we couldn't get it anywhere. Hellerau, Hellerau is absolutely uh, one of those us. where they, they helped us, and it, either the director or the producer says, "Here, I can give you a you know protected version to see." So that's wonderful. It would be for this as well, so that we can spread the word, especially if it's great, which. This sure looks like it's gonna be. I don't. Is there a Fafa film that's not really good? I don't know. Uh, I haven't seen them all, but <laughs> well, I mean, there's one I mean, that I, mean, I didn't appreciate as much as others, obviously. But true. They, I don't know if they were star because obviously I'm thinking like Bangalore Days, but that's not his film. That's right. He's a supporting actor in that. Right. Movie. Exactly. Um, I'm talking Fafa stars. But he's the, he's technically supporting in Kumbalanji Nights. Technically, isn't he? Yeah, but that's a great film. It's a great film. <laughs> so is Joji. Um. Anyways. Let us know uh, if you're excited about this one because we are. We sure are. Uh, please let us know down <coughs> below.